All right, welcome everybody. Bar intensity on a Saturday. Optional prop, thicker weight for the arm series. So I'm gonna put this over here. Hopefully, if anyone can't hear me, um, just let me know and I will just get off mute and let me know because I can't see you from over here actually. So I'm gonna get into a squat position a little bit wider than hip width distance. Think back, root down in my heels. You might root so, so deeply in your feet that you'll lift your toes up off the mat. And we're going to start, we're gonna squat and then we're gonna open our arms out into a diagonal and then alternate. So we're doing kind of a grab life by the corners of the room thing here, but reaching and squatting, getting deep into those glutes already. Keep that core engaged and the shoulders relaxed. Now I'm going kind of slow to get us started, but since this is warm up, we will be speeding up. So down and open, down and open, drop and open, down and open. Really kind of reach up to the corner of the room and the floor, grab everything around you, all that energy that we've created to make a really wonderful weekend. Open and press, open and press. Four more, we'll stay low in three, in two. Last one, we'll stay low, just pulse down, down. So we're getting our knees warm. They're not going past our second toe. Press down, down, lower, lower. Everything warming up in the back of our legs. It's four, three, two, hold it low. We're gonna step out and out, step back and back. Step, step, back, back. So I'm just going to one side. I'm staying low in my legs. I'm just going one step out, one step back. Four more, three, two, last one. We're gonna go back to the down and open, down and open. So getting that flush out here, warming up our body, all head to toe, and open and close, open and close. Four more, we'll stay low, three, two, Last one, we're gonna go pulse, pulse, lower and lower. Just feel everything moving just a little bit down, lowering the feet down, lower and lower. Four, three, two, two hold it, hold it. Sound, sound. You have trouble hearing me? No. No? No, okay. All right, <laughs> so we're going to step out, back on that other side, in and out. Staying low, in and out, two more. Last one, and we'll lift up. We're gonna do a little ballerina-esque thing, so um, we'll keep our feet in V right in front of us. And I'm gonna have our hands, so we're kind of doing the graceful arm thing, making a circle with our arms. Take one foot and tap it out and then glide it in. And then you can add that arm lift like you're a ballerina, lifting out and in. So this is just to get our legs heated a little bit more. You can ditch the arms if you're not feeling arm work right now and just focus on tapping this leg out and in. We don't usually get to work the fronts of our legs too much. We're always squatting and bending and reaching them back. So forward and back, forward and back. Lift and lower. Four more, we'll hold that leg in. In three, in two. Last one, we're gonna hold it in, just plie with our feet flat. So you don't have to lift your heels here in this V, which is what we normally do. We're just gonna keep this plie, this external rotation from hips to toes, down and up, down and up. Four, three, two, and I will tap that other foot and I'm doing the arms opposite. I'm confusing myself, sorry, up and in, up, shoulder height. Tap and back, tap and back. Four, three, two, last one, and now we'll plie up, Legs up, or legs down, arms up, it's up and down, plie and down. So again, heels are still flat, lift and lower, four, 
three, two, last one. Now we're holding in a little bit lower here. I'm taking this foot, we're gonna tap, lift, lower, and in, and alternate. Lift, tap, and drag. My arms will probably get tired like that, so I wanna keep them in. It's reach, lift, tap, glide in. Out, lift, tap, and in. So let's do a few more of these. Down, glide, reach, lift, down, and in. Last one on each side. Down, last one, and down. All right, shift their shoulders out. We're gonna grab our optional prop. So that again, stick or weight, if you have them, again, totally optional. You can do everything without this. First thing, I'm just gonna have my feet hip width parallel. And my arms are holding this kind of, kind of like I do with weights, loosely on the thumb up and then everything else around. I'm gonna press it out at shoulder height, drag it back in. So I'm pressing and dragging. It looks like I have chicken wings. It's press and drag, press and drag. So you can slightly bend your knees at any time if you don't feel like you'll, you'll lock those legs out here. Reach and pull, reach and pull. So this is just our start of our arm workout here. Again, you can push and press without a prop at any time. You don't need this. If you have weight, you can do this underhand grip maybe if that's more comfortable. Bicep reach style, reach and press. Four, three, we'll speed it up. And two, last one, here we go. So it's out and in, out and in, drag in, reach. So pulling it back, resisting, keeping those shoulders down. Four, three, two, now it's going up and drag. So we're just kind of running it right in front of our face. I know I gotta bend down so you can see what my arms are doing up here. It's lift and lower, lift and drag. Reach, warming up our shoulders here. Lift, lower, lift and drag. Four more, three, we'll speed it up in two, Last one, here we go. So it's up and drag, up and down. Resist and lift. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Four, three, two, and one. All right, now I'm going to get a little bit into a wide V or kind of a wide V bend position. So our, we're slightly externally rotated from hips to toes. I'm gonna reach down and then reach up and over. And you can do this with weights or without any props. It's just a side body bend, but really gripping onto your weights or clenching your fists and warming through those arms. This is the arm series. So whatever you need to do to get deep in those arm muscles, you can ditch the lower body. This is the arm, so just stay steady and you can reach up and over at this position if that's more comfortable. Or if you want the full move, you squat and then reach up and over. And four more, we're gonna hold it out to that side, that side body lean, and two. Last one, we're going to turn into a lunge position and then turn back. So we're turning to lunge and then turning back up. It's lunge and up, lunge and down with the arms and up. Reach and up, reach and up. Four, we'll stay center in three, and two, Last one, we're staying center. We're gonna drag this down back to our uh, shoulder height and twist to that side. So this is an oblique twist. We're staying steady in our lower body. Twist and center, twist and center. Now we're gonna add on. So it's twist, push, drag in and center. Twist, reach out, drag in and center. So we're just adding an extra bit of long lever for our obliques to pull in and back. Four, reach, drag in and center. Three, in and center. Last two, in. Last one, push, in and center. Now just take a moment, shake that out and then we'll do the other side. So again, you can stay low in your body at any time. You don't have to um, move that, but if you like, you can squat, reach up and over or stay low and just reach up and over. Whatever you're gonna serve you today, if this foot position is bothering you, you can do a V so you can get closer 
and not have to do the wide body thing. So whatever you need is fine with me. Four more. Three, we'll keep it over here in two. Last one, we're just gonna pulse up and over. It's pulse, pulse. Four, three, two, and now we'll do our reach and lunge position. So we're twisting to that side into a lunge and back to that wide VV bend. It's reach and center, twist and center, lunge, lunge and center. Four, three, two, last one. And now we're gonna do those twists. So we're gonna twist to that side first and center. Twist and center. So use those obliques just to turn your body to that side. Hips are facing forward. Open and reach out and in. Four, we'll add that arm press in three. In two, last one. Now we add that press to reach. Reach out, pull in, and center. Reach, push those arms, drag them in, and center. So again, totally optional to have a prop here. You can do this just by pressing your arms out, dragging them in, keeping the elbows close to your sides if you don't have anything to hold on to. It's out, reach, drag, and in. Last two, reach, drag. Last one. And straighten those legs and release. So now we're gonna underhand grip this bar. And again, right now I'm just, I don't have much of a grip, I'm kind of just holding it. Um, if you're holding weights, underhand grip those weights. My I'm hip width parallel my feet. I'm gonna reach forward, drag in. So this is where you just bake something because you're home anyway, and you wanna offer it to me. And they're like, you know, I'm gonna keep it for myself. Forward, drag in. So the elbows are going by your side reaching out and dragging in, kind of that waist height, reach and pull, reach, drag in, lift and in. Four, we're gonna hold it out, three, last two, we're gonna hold it out, just lift. It's just a little pulse up from this halfway point in your body, keeping in mind that your shoulders should be relaxed and down your back, that core is engaged. So bring that belly button to your spine, four, three, Two, now we're gonna tighten our grip on this. If you're holding weights again or nothing, that's fine. We're gonna do our bicep curl. So it's lift and lower. Try not to hit your face with your bar if you're using a bar or swiffer or something. Lift and lower. Lift, think about those biceps engaging. That's what we're really working here. It's lift and lower. Four, three, two. Now we're gonna hold this bend. We're going to lift and lower our elbows, just up and down as we keep the grip on this bar waist or our hands lifting up, lift and lower. So hands are parallel, arms are parallel, lift and lower. Just a different sensation, side of the shoulders, upper biceps, lift and lower, lift and reach. Four, three, two, Last one, and now we're gonna just drop all the way back, lift all the way up. So this is a flush out move, dragging the elbows by our sides and lifting our hands up overhead. It's down and lift, down and lift. Four, three, we'll keep our arms low. And two, last one. And now we're gonna get our, I'm gonna bend down a little bit. I'm gonna try to do some tricep thing behind here, but I know my kind of cut off. So I'm being on my knees, you can stay standing. <laughs> But what I want to do is kind of open the arms wide here, like we're in goal post. So if you're holding weight, just be in goal post. If you're not, you're going to see your out like this. But kind of dragging those shoulder blades down, I'm just lowering this down behind me, lowering my arms behind me. I'm going to press up. So without props, you're going to lower down and then press up. You can press up with open palms. You can do this. But we're getting that back side of our arms, our lats, kind of an, a territory we don't work a lot, but we also want to work the tricep. So it's kind of like triple duty. Down and press, down and press. Lower and down. Four, three, two. 
last one and now i'm just if you have a prop i'm just going to release it if you have weights you can keep them in your hands what i want to do is take both hands right behind me the, my fist together and press up so i'm doing the same move but the arms are close together so again you can do this with weights the bar might hit you in the head lift and lower lift and lower four three two Last one, and now just pulse those arms up, up. Pulse up from your head, just lifting right above the head. Lift and lift. Four, three, two, and one. All right, we'll do a quick tricep stretch here. So we'll place our palm on the back, center of our back, grab this elbow, and just kind of reach up and over to get the side, side lean, side stretch here. Breathe through that. And then we'll switch sides so palms goes in the center of your back. Grab this elbow and just do a quick side lean. Very nice. Okay. So we will put our props aside if you're using them. I'm gonna take a quick sip of water. I recommend it if you have it nearby. And now we have some different uh, sort of core plank work. So the first thing we'll do is get on our mat. Hopefully everybody has a comfortable place. If, if not, you can do this at a standing surface, like a countertop or the back of a chair. Um, or if you have a bar in your house like I do. Um, we're gonna get on all fours to start. So we're gonna stack. And you can double up your mat under your knees. So definitely do that if your knees aren't uh, happy on the mat. Stacking up our shoulders over our palms, our hips over our knees, curling our toes under. So first, we're gonna get comfortable in this position. You have a neutral spine here. So your neck is an extension of your spine. You wanna gaze forward rather than curl under uh, unless you're checking your form. And just hover your knees. So you're pressing deeply in your toes, hovering those knees off the mat, which is going to get into your core as you relax your shoulders. So we're just holding this hover, feeling everything running through your body. That's the strength that you have and your energy and you should feel some shakes pretty quickly. You can drop your knees at any time. Otherwise, embrace those shakes. That means your body is working and changing very hard with all the effort you're putting in. So we'll just hold this here for four, three, two. We're gonna lower those knees down, take a quick break. In the next uh, phase of this, we're not gonna hold, we're gonna tap our knees up and down. So when you're ready, we're gonna lift our knees up using that core and then tap them down and lift. Drop those knees, lift them, so you're barely moving them off the mat as you keep your body steady otherwise. It's drop and lift, down and lift, lower and lift, four, lift, three, you got this, two, last one, hold that hover, four, three, two, lower down. All right, so we have, again, of course, another layer for this. So first option is we're gonna hold both legs hovering and we're gonna move one leg back at a time. If that is completely crazy or painful, you can keep one knee down, the one you're not working. So I'll try to show both options. So option one is lifting up, dropping the left knee and moving the right knee, kind of like when we do some glute work. Otherwise, we're gonna lift both knees, take this right leg back and back. So this might cause some difficult work in that left quad. We're just gonna do a few more seconds. Four, three, two, and lower down. So it's pretty intense quad work, um, but you can get everything you need if you keep one knee down. So we'll do one more of those. So again, you can keep the right knee down or lift both knees up, take that left leg back and in. So just doing this just really quickly, almost done. Four, three, two, and child's pose. So toes together, knees apart, reach long in front of you on the mat. Get that nice shoulder stretch, lat stretch, and breathe. Take that rest break and release. So we're gonna do uh, one more plank series, but I, I promise you it's not not very long in the plank. So we're doing a straight on plank and then we're gonna lift up into a crescent lunge on one side, go down to plank and then go up in a crescent lunge on the other side. So the good news there is we're only in plank for a moment as we switch. 
But um, if you don't feel like doing that, you can hold crescent and then switch to the other side and crescent. So we'll start getting into um, either a knee plank, if you're not feeling like doing a full expression, or a straight arm plank. So when you're ready, hold into a straight arm plank or a knee plank with your shoulders stacked over your palms. And if your knees, again, you're gonna have an angle if you're on your knees rather than underneath like we did before. When you're ready, we're gonna take our right foot close to our hands, push ourselves up into a lunge. This is our crescent lunge, lowering down, hands by our, our foot, take this foot back, take the left foot in, and then we're pushing up into that crescent lunge with the other leg. So we're gonna move through this in counts of two, foot up, lunge, down, down, foot back, left foot in, lift and lift. So you can go at your own pace, I can't see you. But as you can see, we're only in the plank for a really short time. And then you get the nice yummy stretch in that lunge position. We'll go through two more sets after this. And then we will stay in whatever lunge you are in upright. And then lift and hold when you're in that lunge. Really feel the strength as you stretch that hip flexor. Four, three, two, and release. Hopefully everyone's feeling good. That's a lot of work. Um, I'm already quite sweaty over here. <laughs> um, we have more stuff to do standing. So we're gonna be doing some leg work and um, trying to get all parts of your whole body here. So we'll start again in that uh, wide position, but this time we're gonna have our feet facing forward. And um, you have two options with your back. So you can stay upright like this, or you can hinge forward. So whatever you think is gonna work for you today, we're going into some side lunges. So I'm gonna go slow here to start. So again, upright or hinge. When you're lunging, you wanna feel that stretch in the leg that's lengthening. And on the side, you're bending that knee, trying to keep your hips level and square the whole time, facing either forward or towards the floor, depending if it's on your, your hinge or straight. So I'm doing just some slow ones here. We're gonna speed it up and use our arms in a minute. So the option is to reach forward, press back, reach and press. As we speed this up, reach forward, press it back, forward, press back, forward and back, reach and pull, keeping everything in that upper body fully engaged, but just the left body, our lower body is moving, reach and pull. Four, three will change the arm, so keep the legs going. And now we're going to reach down and down. So reaching across, if this is not serving you, you can stay at shoulder height, because I don't want anyone hurting their back in here, but reach, pulling that elbow back as you go side to side. It's down and back, down and cross. So again, some oblique work here. Four more, we'll keep those legs going. We're gonna switch the arms again. Here we go, so we're going up and up. So we're kind of reaching and grabbing something right over our knee as it bends. Reaching up, reach up, up and over. Cardio burst here. Four more. Three, we'll stay steady everywhere in two. Last one, and now we'll just pause. Let's kind of lean forward for a stretch here. Just kind of bend your body in half. And take a moment to stretch out those legs. And we'll roll it back out. I'm walking my feet in to hip width uh, distance. So now we will do just our knee bend series. This is uh, called different things by different brands. So um, we just call it a knee bend in bar intensity, but if you go to Define, they call it um, a high heel parallel, <laughs> which doesn't apply to Aaron, sorry. Uh, and then bar three calls it power leg. So they try to make it sound good because it can get really deep in your body. So we will 
let's start with some calf raises. So just rocking forward and back, lifting your calves, your heels rather, to get into your calves. You can rock back on the heel and totally lift your toes off though for kind of a nice, like, I don't know, floating feeling. Lift and roll back, lift and lower. Four more. Three, we'll keep those heels lifted. Two, last one. So heels are lifted. Again, this is optional. You can keep them flat, but we're gonna bend those knees and glide our back down an imaginary wall. So right away, you might feel wobbly. That's a good sign. That's your core trying to stabilize your body into this unusual position. As you feel kind of like rocking and rolling, you have options with your hands. You can press them into each other for prayer. You can hold on to your hips. You can hold on to a waist high surface nearby, a couch, chair, or countertop. Or you can drop those heels at any time. You're still gonna get good work here. It's just the range of motion will be a little bit different. So when you're ready, the first thing we'll do is drop an inch, lift an inch, down, and lift. So this is just a tiny movement. Someone walking by might think you're not doing anything, and you know, little do they know. <laughs> but we're bringing our feet towards the ground, keeping our heels lifted at the same height. We're not moving the heels. We're dropping the feet down towards the ground and lifting it up just a tiny inch. You might challenge yourself as you go down to go up even less, go up halfway, down, halfway up, down, halfway up. So we're getting really nice feet and the legs down, lift. But this is total body, so you wanna make sure that core is in, the shoulders are down, and that you're breathing and sending the oxygen where your body needs it. Lower and lift, drop and lift. Four more, we'll hold it low. Three and two, so we're holding this low. We're gonna pulse down, pulse down. So again, we're just bringing our feet down towards the mat, our knees, are just staying down in the same bend. Our heels are still lifted. Down, pulse down, lower and lower. Four, three, two, we're gonna hold it low. Now we'll flush it out. So it's drop and lift, drop and lift. So I'm keeping my heels lifted. You can lower them anytime. It's lower and press, lower and press. So we're gonna get a little flush of this hard work. We'll stay low in a minute. Four more, three, last two, last one. We're gonna get back to that low position. Pulse it down again and down, down, pulse down. Stay stacked and relaxed in the upper body. It's lower and lower, drop, drop. Four, three, two, we're gonna hold. Can you squeeze your knees towards each other? This is an internal move. So we're internally rotating our knees in and open. We usually do lots of external rotation. We don't do a lot of internal rotation. So those inner thighs tend to be pretty weak. That's why we always squeeze in on balls and yoga blocks and stuff in this class. But it's in and open, in and open. If it hurts you to be with heels lifted, you can try this flat-footed in and out, in, squeeze out. Four more, three, last two, Last one, we're gonna lift our arms up as an option, lift our heels higher, drop our feet lower. Four, three, two, and lift, and just stretch forward. And shake out your, your whole body and take a moment to relax those legs. Um, kind of a fun, I don't know if we, sometimes I think I things are some fun and you guys are like, what the hell? But we're gonna do a series that's like, working our body and stretching at the same time. This one might require just having something nearby to hold on to, which could be if your stick's longer than mine, if it's a broom, you can hold it in front of you. Or again, something, a person, whatever you want. We're gonna do a figure four stretch standing. So I'm crossing one leg over, flexing this foot, and I'm in this figure four where we usually like to stretch our piriformis and our glutes. I'm gonna lift up and lower that down other side, getting that stretch, lift up, lower down. So I'm alternating the stretch, but because I have to lift and balance, I'm getting a little bit of glute and leg work at the same time. So you can move through this, or if you just want to ignore me, you can just hold the stretch and then switch sides, and that's also fine. 
So this is just something, kind of a balance challenge also. But then you get lots of stretching at the same time. So we'll just do a few more, or a few more moments if you're holding. Last set here. The last side. And release. All right, well, I think it's time for some leg and glute combo. So I'm gonna get into a lunge position. I've done a lot of lunges today. And we haven't stayed in them, so let's stay in one. I'm gonna stack this front leg, front knee over my ankle. My back leg is stretched and I have this lovely hip flexor stretch going on. Option is to stay upright like this or hinge. We can maybe do things in both so everybody gets to work through their back today. So in this position, we're gonna drop this back knee towards the ground so both knees are bent now. This is kind of that, we did the bar challenge in February, the very first day was the carousel horse move, which is this. So we're gonna go down and up, like we're gliding up and down a carousel as a horse. So I'm just moving this back leg, back knee is going down and up, it's staying bent. This move is very simple, but it's pretty deep into this back leg. So you're really rooted in this front leg. Nothing's moving there. The foot is just solidly into that ground. The back leg is taking us up and down, up and down, and really firing through that leg that we just worked pretty hard in our other position. Down and down. Lifting and lowering this back leg. Four more, we'll flush it out a little bit. In three, in two. So hold this for a moment. What we're gonna do is hinge and straighten that back leg as we hinge, and then press back into this position. So we're gonna reach and hinge and straighten back to our carousel position. Reach and hinge, back and back. Reach forward and hinge back and stack, <laughs> down and straight, hinge forward and back. Two more like this, last one, and now hinge, hold that hinge position. Really feel that strength as you hold here. And now what I want to do is take your hands to prayer, I think that will be easier for this. We're gonna drag our foot in, drag it back. So we're dragging it to the other toes, dragging it back into that lunge. So you'll feel that really nice heat build in your standing glute. Drag in, press back, drag in and back. Four more, we're gonna keep the toes up. In three, in two, last one. So we're in this bent position with toes lifted just on our side. And what I want you to do is lift upright, take this knee and lift it and hold. So you're gonna feel balanced on a challenge, you're gonna feel wobbly. You may need to hold on to something nearby. Take those arms and twist your body towards that bent knee. So your arms are in a T position. You're facing towards the side of the body that has the lifted knee. You can drop the knee at any time if you're like, what the heck? Hold here, relax those shoulders. Four, three, two, twist back, drop those toes, drag back to that lunge, and hold. You can lift those arms up again like we did in that plank lunge combo. Four, three, two, open to that wide position, and we'll stretch all the way down again, taking a moment to reset. That was a lot of good strength work. And now we'll turn and do the lunge on the other side. So I have the opposite leg forward. This leg is back, stretching long, and then we're bending this knee. So everyone is upright to start, but if your back hurts, you can hinge. So while we're in this position, we're dropping the knee and lifting, but keeping that knee bent the whole time. It's down and lift, lower and lift, stop, lift, down and lift lower so get the really nice warmth this leg's already fatigued so it's going to be shaking and quaking pretty quick if you don't feel it already you can get a little bit lower in that leg so again we're just moving this back leg four more three two 
So we're holding here, we're gonna hinge and straighten and then back to the two knee bends. So hinge and straighten that back leg, bend that knee. So this is our kind of stretch and flush pose. Reach and hinge, back and bend. Reach and hinge, straighten. Four more, again, we'll hold that hinge. Three, two, last one. And now we'll drag those toes in, reach it back. Drag and reach. Tap those toes, reach and lunge, tap and reach. So we're getting some movement for our glutes. Tap in, reach back. Four more, we'll keep those toes in. Three, two, last one. Again, make yourself a little bit more upright. We're gonna lift this knee, hold and twist. Open arms to where that forward knee is. Holding this balance, really feeling the strength. Four, three, two, twist forward and then back to holding our lunge position, that strength and grace. Nice, hard work. Four, three, two, and release. Great job, everybody. So we will do one more standing series for glutes, and then we'll take a break and get on the mat that we, we really deserve. So um, I'm just gonna turn so you can see. I'm gonna bend this, I have, this is my left leg, but I think you see it as my right, I don't know, whatever that leg is for you. Um, bend this to hold us up, and again, you need something to hold on to. This back leg is going to be slightly behind our hip. So, just, we're gonna lift this leg and tap. So all we're doing is just tapping our toes and lifting slightly behind our hips as we hold steady with a slight knee bend on our standing leg. So that's to stabilize and not lock out. We want to get this kind of side of our glutes here one more time standing, really engaging your core to hold you in a nice stable position. Tap and lift, tap, lift. Four more, we're gonna hold that leg up in two. Holding this leg, doesn't have to be that high, circle. So we're drawing circles with our toes up and around up and around, four, three, two, and reverse. So it's down and around, down and around, four, three, two. Now we're gonna flex the foot, it's little bend and extend. So it's bend the knee, reach it, bend, press that foot back behind, little bend and press, bend and press. Four more, press, three, last two, Last one, and we will lower down. Do a little hip wiggle and switch sides. So I've got, again, this slight bend in the standing leg, pointing these toes slightly behind my hip, tap and lift. So whatever you need, grabbing onto something, holding your hips, heart center, lift and lower, lift, tap the mat. Four, three, two, so holding up, we're gonna draw those circles. So it's up and around, up and around. Four, three, two, and reverse. Down and around, down and around. Four, three, two, flex that foot. It's little bend and lift. Then reach and lift. Bend and press. So you're pressing that foot away. It's four, three, last two, Last one and release. The good news is we're going to the mat, so you can make your way to a seated position that, or get ready to get on your back um, or side. Got to figure that out. Let <laughs> me take a step. I'm losing it, obviously. Okay, so we are on the mat. We're going to catch our breath for a moment. And our first thing we'll do is some side work. So, what I like to do is have um, my shoulder over my elbow and then a flat arm. Other options include resting your hand into your palm or laying down on your arm. Or you can put a pillow or ball underneath your ribs here. So lots of options. I don't care what you do, it's whatever's best for your body. I have my knees bent here and um, my legs are gonna be forward and parallel with the front of the mat. 
So option one is keeping this leg down and having your heels together. This is a clam position. We normally do them either all fours or sometimes at the bar. And we're gonna lower down fully and lift and clam. If you like to do diamond, that's lifting this bottom leg up and then you just go halfway. So whatever you're feeling today is fine. This can be a quick stand here, holding yourself steady. We're gonna drop and lift. So it's lower down for two, lift, squeezing the glute at the top. So again, if your foot is down, your bottom leg is down, that's, you can go all the way down to touch knee to knee. In this case, diamond's a little bit more lifted, so you just go halfway. I like to also put my hand on my feet to feel what's working and shaking. So sometimes you can try that and see if you feel any shakes and quakes in the glutes already. I definitely do. Down and down, lift and lift. Lower and lift. Four more, lift. Three and lift. Last two, lift. Last one, we're gonna hold this top leg open, just tap it open. So you're doing an external rotation lift. Lifting open, pressing those heels deeply together. It's lift and lift, just that top knee is lifting. Four, three, two, and lower down. Whew, that was a good one for me. Um, while we're in this position, there's something that I need to work on that I'm not great at, so I think we should all work on it, and that's uh, side plank. So, I'm starting with my knees down though because the full side plank is very challenging. So all I'm doing here is just a hip lift, tiny hip lift and lower. So I'm just pressing into my forearm and just lifting my hips up and down. So nothing crazy here. You can have the arm open if you just wanna feel free in your movement. Lift those hips, lift, four, three, Two, last one, and lower down. See, that wasn't so bad. We didn't do the full leg thing. All right, one more thing on this side, and then we will switch. We're gonna straighten our legs, point those toes towards the corner of the mat, and make sure your hips are stacked. I tend to roll backwards when I'm in this position. I'm trying to keep this steady. If you're in here and your arm's tired, you can still lower down to whatever you need here. I'm taking this first, this top leg, I'm gonna lift it to he, uh, hip height, and flex my foot. So first thing is just lifting and lowering here at two, up to hip height, nothing like rocket style here, just lifting and lowering to hip height with the flex foot and keeping ourselves stacked. And four more, we'll go swing it forward to that L. Three, two, so we're swinging our legs forward to an L shape and then just pressing it back slightly behind our hips. So swing forward and then kick that heel back Staying at hip height the whole time if you can. And you don't have to go this far forward if that's not comfortable. Just stop where you're comfortable. And you can put, again, this hand down for a kickstand. Forward, back, forward, and back. Four, three, we'll hold it forward. And two, last one, we're gonna tap this foot down. So the foot is still flexed and it's going, the whole side of it's going down and up lower and lift four three two last one and release so that is one whole side halfway there with our side glute work first i'm just switching sides again you can do a different head and hand position than you did the first time there's no rules here i know again i don't see you so again we have the knees bent the legs are parallel with the front of the mat option one is to click those heels together, do clam with the leg down, going down and up. Option two is diamond, halfway down and lift. So when you're ready, it's drop for two, lift for two. Lower and lower, lift and lift. Down, two, lift and squeeze. Lower and lift. It's drop and lift. Keep those heels pressed together, lift and squeeze. Four more, lift and lift. Three, lift, last two, it's lift. Last one, we're gonna hold it up, squeezing those heels, press that top knee open. It's lift up, lift up, pulse it up and up. Lift, 
to lift. Feel that booty burn. Just four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're lowering that down. We're gonna do our little like knee side plank thing next. So it's just the hip lift here. So it's lift the hips and drop, lift and lower. So you didn't have to move your legs in any position. Just lifting those hips up. Again, you can do your fun hand thing, whatever. <laughs> lift and lower, lift and drop. Four, drop, three, tap that mat, it's two. Last one, and now we're dragging those toes towards the corner, straightening our legs and making sure our hips are stacked, we're not rolling back behind. And we're gonna lift this top leg, flex that foot, drop and lift. So it's just going to hip height, down, lift. Really keep that oblique off the mat down here, engage your whole core, down and up. Four more, three, last two, last one, we're gonna drag it forward and then kick it back, heel slightly behind our hip and roll it back. So it's reach forward, drag it back, reach it forward, reach it back. Two more and we'll keep this hip, this foot forward at that L. Here we go. So we're gonna drop the whole foot and lift. So it's dropping the side of the foot in that flex position, tap it down, lift it up. Four more, three, last two, last one, and release. All right, I think it's time for some time on our back. <laughs> so we're gonna flip my legs around and get on my back, which I think all of us deserve. And to so take a moment also to take a sip of water. I'm gonna roll on my back. Oh, that feels nice. And the first thing I like to do is take your legs up straight. Now mine are always gonna be bent when I lift them like this. And you don't have to be, you can be more tabletop, whatever you need today. My legs are up though. We're gonna first open to a V and then close. So we're not doing anything with our upper body, but we're just opening and closing our legs in a V. So it's like open wide, zip it up, open and zip. So while you're working on this, try to keep your ribs down, keeping your core engaged, relaxing your upper back on the mat, open and close. So option one to add on is to put your head and neck and shoulders behind your, with your hands behind them, and then curl up when your legs open, lower down and close. So we'll start with these so everybody can feel that movement in the core as you curl up with the legs open. Again, you can do this with knees bent. There's no rule that it has to look perfectly straight. Curl and open. Option two is to release the hands and then reach them forward as you curl up. Curl through those legs with the arms reaching between them as you open. Curl up, open. You can keep your head, neck, and shoulders in your hands. You can also stay with your head down on the mat. All our options, open and curl. Four more, three, two, last one. All right, lower your head down for a second. Now, what I want you to do, we're gonna lean this, uh, our legs, they're gonna press together like a mermaid tail. We're gonna lean them slightly to the right. We're gonna press our palms together and then curl to the left. So we're curling up left and lower, curl. And you can also do this with, your, with one hand behind your head and reach that right arm to the left side. Curl, release, curl, release. So we're just curling to one side as our legs swing to the other. Reach and reach. Dig it into those obliques, lift and lower. Four, three, two, Last one, we'll reset, lower the head, neck and shoulders. Now we're gonna take those legs again to the slightly to the left. So option is both arms pressing to the right, or you can reach the left arm to the right and hold your head, neck and shoulder, head and neck, I guess not holding your shoulders. With that right hand, reach and down. Curl up and lower, curl and lower. Four, three, two, Last one, we're gonna lower head, neck and shoulders and let's drop those feet. 
flat on the mat, knees are staying bent. We take a nice breath in. All right, so first, um, in this position, we have, um, it's, yeah, we've used <laughs> a lot. So I'm gonna keep the feet steady and flat. We'll take our arms straight overhead, and then we'll just curl with the arms forward and lower down. So you're just gonna get the part of your rectus, upper and mid core here. Something more simple that we can do. And again, you can always put your hand behind your head if you don't like having this head unsupported. Lower, curl up, lower and up. So with this, we'll add layers. The layer one is to lift your right leg to tabletop. So you have a little bit of imbalance as you try to stay steady. Lift and lower. Four more, three, two. Keep those arms lower that knee. So we're still doing our simple curls. Now we're gonna lift the left leg to tabletop. Back and reach, back and reach. Again, this is just an option. You can stay with both these down or you can do the curls with your head protected here by your hands. Four more with this knee lift. Three, two, last one. We'll lower everything down. Okay, I think the upper core has got its fair share of work here. So let's get some lower core work. Um, for me, again, if you have a ball underneath you is when I can have more flexibility in straightening my legs and moving around. But since we don't have a ball, we're going to use our backs of our hands. So slide your palms just under the side of your tailbone. So I have them just, un just right under me, protecting my low back here. This is weird. You can totally do flat back. And if this helps you, it gives me a little bit, for some reason, if I didn't have this here, I cannot straighten my legs. So I think it's really amazing. What I want to do is just lift and poke my feet in the ceiling. So I have a uh, point on toe, and I'm just lifting and lowering my body from my waist to my toes, poking the ceiling, and getting kind of a lower curl. So my lower abs are getting a little bit of work here. So it's not a big movement, but just a little poke. And it's, I'm trying to go straight, but I know I don't look straight. So. <laughs> but I'm feeling it in my core, which is really important. So just four more. Three, two, last one. And so I'm keeping my hands here under my tailbone so I have a little bit more range of motion. You can ditch that any time, as I said. Putting my heels together, if you see, kind of like uh, we've been in a lot of other work. For some froggy, if you've done Pilates, you know that Hillary likes froggy. So I have my feet flexed, my heels are pressed together, and my knees are currently stacked over my hips. Drag your legs, your whole thing here into the corner of the ceiling, and then drag back. You're pressing your feet towards where your walls meet in your ceiling at a diagonal, and dragging back. So pulling in and reaching out, inhale and exhale. Pressing deeply into those heels, Getting that nice movement, reach and pull, reach and drag. Four more froggies. Three, two, last one, and we'll drop those knees. Now I'm going to do some core work sitting up. So we'll, once you're ready, we'll sit up. I'm gonna straighten my legs too, because why not? If you would like to use your weights or bar or whatever weird prop you had for arms, that's an option, but you don't need to. So if you are just doing this with any without prop, we're straightening our back and then hinging it back. So we don't have a rounded back. This is all that is. If you have weights or a bar, you can just hold it in front of you. That's the only difference. I'm just going down and up, barely moving up and down an inch with my back at this hinge flat, straight back, up and down. So again, we're really moving from our core here. We're not moving from my um, booty or my back. I'm pushing my core up and down in this tiny movement, maybe less than a half inch, I don't know. Relaxing those shoulders. Again, if you're not using a prop, we're just holding our arms out. If you're not feeling anything in your core, try going a little bit further back. 
down and lift. It's a very simple move, but for me, it's very effective in getting into my core. I feel some shake, down and lift. Again, not feeling it, try a little bit more of an angle. Lower and lift. Four more, three, two. Now hold it back, you have the option to stay here. You have the option to bend the knees into a modified boat. You're holding behind your knees. You can lift, release those knees. You can put them in the tabletop. This is a modified boat as well. You can do your full straight leg. Four, three, two, and release. Stretch forward. Get a nice back stretch. We have one more core thing, and that's because we haven't done the round back core yet, and then we will stretch. So knees flat. If your hip flexors are bothering you, you can knock them together. You can also keep your legs straight. Now I am holding my hands underneath the backs of my knees. I'm gonna round my back so it's like you see a C or someone took an ice and scoop and carved it out right here. Uh, so I don't have that straight back, it's rounded. All I'm doing is lifting and lowering like we just did with the straight back, but with this rounded position. So using that core to lift and lower my body just slightly towards my tops of my legs. Lift and lower. Four more, we'll hold the sound back in three. And two, last one, we're holding around back. Just put your hands on top of your thighs and push them, just push and push. So you should feel a little bit of a core burn as you push your thighs in this round back. Press, press, pressing into the top of the thighs. It's in, press in, press and press. Four, three, two, and release. All right, we have made it. And so again, I don't have stretch music for you, so you just keep hearing these funny beats. But what I'd like to do is face forward, pressing our soles of our feet together into a butterfly stretch. I'm gonna press down into my knees, bring them closer to the floor. If that doesn't serve you, that's fine, don't do that. You can grab your feet, you can press forward, you can walk forward. Um, just really feel that nice stretch in your whole leg, uh, inner thighs, outer thighs, really well deserved. And breathe, enjoy that stretch for a moment. And now we'll, since we already have knee bend here, we'll take one leg straight and keep the other one bent. I'm gonna inhale up, exhale towards the bent knee, twisting over that knee, pressing it away, and gazing over your right shoulder, or if that's your left shoulder, whatever shoulder you're gazing over is great. And breathe. Try to twist a little bit deeper as you exhale. And then back to center, we'll do one reach up and over towards the long lengthened leg, getting a side body lean. Inhale and exhale through that lovely stretch. Back up and we'll switch legs to straighten out the bent leg, bend the straightened leg. We're gonna inhale up. Exhale, twist over that bent knee, gazing over your shoulder. Inhale and exhale, stretching further over to that, do that twist. And then back to center, we will do our side body lean up and over towards that straight leg. Breathing in and out. And release. Now we'll do our crouch position, our low crouch. The feet are forward, we're curling up in a ball over ourselves to the chest. And really root your hands so towards the floor as you put a lot of stretch into your calves and your Achilles. And then press into a forward fold, hanging like a rag doll, pedaling out those knees. And release those hands, release your head, neck, and shoulders. Kind of roll yourself up gently, stacking your head over your shoulders, shoulders over your hips, hips over our feet. We're gonna take some closing breaths here. So we'll inhale up. Exhale, swan dive down and roll all the way down back to where you were in that forward fold. Inhaling up. Exhale, swan dive down again. Exhale, any stress you had from the week. Inhale up, press your palms together, drag them to your heart center. And thank yourselves for taking the hour out of your Saturday morning to make yourself stronger and happier and more wonderful than you already are if that's even possible and i'm so glad to see all of you today